What is going on comic book fans? Welcome back to the channel and guys in today's video we're taking a look at something a little new to the comic book community. Now this product has already been released and there are some reviews online that you can go check out right now but I've had this for a little over a month. I've actually already made a video for this and then I watched it and I didn't like it and guys I can't put a video out to the comic book community when I can't put my full weight behind it so we're doing it again and we're doing it better. So in today's video, we're taking a look at this right here. It's called the Comic Capsule, and this is some Nerd Forge protection for your comic books, which is really awesome. Now, they are comparing this to your traditional top loader. So what we're gonna do in today's video is compare these two and see what you're gonna get for the price difference of $8, or a little over $8 actually, because the Comic Capsule comes in at $9.99 per Comic Capsule. You do get a slight discount if you order 10 or more, but guys, you can normally get this for under $2 per top loader. So let's go ahead and dive into today's video and find out what you're gonna get for $8 more over your traditional top loader. All right, guys, so we're going to start off with going over all the things that the boys over at Comic Capsule sent me that they point out that are different from the traditional top loader. I got a nice little handy dandy list right here. Now, the first thing that they mentioned that the Comic Capsule does that a top loader does not is full encapsulation. See, I got Spider Boy issue number one, the one in 50, David Aja in this Comic Capsule, and that's right, you are fully encapsulated. There is nowhere for this book to go at all. Where on a traditional top loader, you got this right here. You can open up and then it can fall out. Now I have done some testing where I did, you have to really shake it for a book to fall out once the book is in a bag and board. So you are slightly protected with a traditional top loader, but this right here, it's not going anywhere because it is fully encapsulated and locked into place, which is some nice peace of mind to have when you're carrying your books around, and especially like, you know, your more expensive one. And I'm sure there's, there are people out there that, you know, they have books that are truly worth a good chunk of money, which having a book fully encapsulated would be absolutely awesome. Now, the next thing that they mentioned is that they have this new flip top design, which I gotta tell you is actually pretty cool. So I got the comic capsule right here in the get my book out, you press right here, and it folds back, see, folds back, and then you can pull your book out. It's effortless, it's so nice, it's clean, it's easy, and it locks back in place. I'm not sure if you were able to hear that or not, where in your traditional top loader, sometimes you really gotta shake the book out, or you gotta like, you know, shove your fingers in here to then pull it out. It's not the most convenient. Is it a big deal in the grand scheme of things? No, but it is super nice. This is a really nice, tactile thing. I gotta say, when I was holding this for a little while, I was I found myself doing this for a little while, and you know what? I've opened and closed this at least a 100 times, and it still locks into place every single time, so it's a nice high quality lock right there. So that is another cool feature to the Comic Capsule that the top loader does not have. Now the next thing that they point out that the Comic Capsule has that the traditional top loader does not is that this is made out of anti-UV resin on the, both the front in the back, so this protects your comic books from, you know, direct UV light, which is really cool, but how many people are really going to be putting their books directly in sunlight? If they are true collectors, they know not to put their books directly in sunlight, but if they did, I guess this would add a little bit of extra protection to their books, which I guess is pretty cool. And the next part of the statement that includes the UV resin is that this has reinforced corners and rounded edges. When you compare it to your traditional top loader, it totally does, because look at this. This right here, it's flimsy, it bends a little bit this way, but this does give give you a little bit of added protection. I will totally agree with that. But this right here, I mean, you really can't bend it that much at all. Like there's barely any flex to this. So that is another nice peace of mind thing. When you put your book in a comic castle, you are truly getting some solid protection over your traditional top loader. Now the next feature that they call out is that the comic capsule is stackable and is secure. Now I'll show you guys some B-roll so that way you guys can see how the comic capsule is stackable. It is a pretty cool feature, but I'm not sure how many people are actually storing their comic books flat horizontally and then stacking them up. 
most people store their comic books in a short box. And I think, you know, that is one feature that I'm not, you know, too keen on because if I'm just going to be storing my books inside of a short box, I think a top loader is completely fine in my opinion. But I guess that is a pretty cool feature if you do stack your comics horizontally somewhere in your house. Um, but for me, I think, you know, just storing them in a traditional, you know, short box or long box is like, you know, what most people will end up doing. But guys, you guys let me know what you think down in the comments below after watching the B-roll. And let me know, do you store your comic books horizontally? Now the next thing that they call out, which I gotta tell you, was a little difficult for me to actually get working, is that they have a dedicated label area, which is right here. Now I actually showed this product to my buddy Frank, who is actually getting back into comics. He has something like 20 long boxes from his childhood that he's going through, and he actually sent me one um, from his own personal PC, which is this one right here. It's the first appearance of the Vigilante. He bought this originally for a dollar. Such a cool thing to get from my friend's childhood collection. I'm definitely gonna be getting this CGC slabbed so that way it can go up on the wall and I'm gonna put a little sticker on it saying from the Frank Suarez collection. But with that said, both Frank and I said it'd be really nice if this section right here, you know, the uh, flip top, sorry, going the wrong way, was actually a lot bigger. More like the size of a CGC slab, and then that way you could insert your own label on top of it. But I tried over and over again to get that sticker to look cool and to look right, and I just couldn't get it right. So that is one thing I think the Comic Capsule guys should work on. It's, you know, maybe making this top section a little bit larger, which I am sure will make this product a little more expensive because they have to add more plastic, more resin, but I think that would be a feature that I think a lot of people would want. It's a larger section on the top for your label. And you know what? There is no label section at all on your traditional top loader. So that is something different. But I think that's something that boys over the comic capsule could work on is the label area. Now, the last thing that they call out that the comic capsule does that the, your traditional top loader does not is that it is display ready. And it is because there's a little slot right here on the back for a screw, for a nail, or even a thumbtack works as well. I'm sure the thumbtack would only be something temporary because that's what I'm using up on the wall right over here. You see this right here? This is a comic capsule hanging on my wall along with my other original artwork and it was so easy to hang. I could do it with a screw, I could do it with the nail, and I actually did it right here with a thumbtack. Now, I wouldn't trust the thumb thumbtack long term, but you know what? It was just there to show you guys that this is display ready. You can just put it right up on your wall and you're ready to go, which that is a super cool feature over your traditional top loader. Now, the last thing that we're gonna go over is that the comic capsule fits your traditional modern comic. And they say that you can put this in with or without a bag and board, but I gotta tell you guys, the bag and boards that I get from mycomicshop.com do not fit in the comic capsule. The only bag and board I was able to get to actually fit in a comic capsule were the BCW current comic bag and board. Everything else that I have on hand, which are you know, obviously not every single bag and board company out there, did not fit in the comic capsule. The one that Frank sent this over to me does not fit in the comic capsule. And yeah, anything else that I have did not fit. So if you guys are looking to store your comics in the bag and boards, only some of them fit in this. They do call out that Silver Age comics also fit in this, but without a bag and board. So just a comic alone. So that is everything about the comic capsule that is different from your traditional top loader. Stick around and I'll give you guys my final thoughts on the comic capsule. All right guys, my final thoughts. First up, this is a super cool way to display your comics. I really like this. It is really rigid. I really like the uh, the amount of effort that was put into making this product. It feels super strong. And if you don't wanna pay the extra cost to get your book CGC slab, like I do up on the wall here, this could be a pretty good way to go, especially when you compare it to other products that are currently on the market right now, because this is only 10 bucks. And when you compare it to others, because I found two more, one was $19.99 and the other one was $25 dollars which are more than double than the comic capsule and i gotta tell you this actually looks a little bit cooler to me it looks a little bit more like your traditional slab but this brings me back to price in general if you are someone like me you spend every single dollar out of your comic book budget on new comics or other comics i literally spend every single dollar on comics and I'm so happy that I don't have to buy bag and boards because all the books that I order online come pre-bagged and board and 
I would be much more willing to spend like, you know, under $2 per top loader because I am such a penny pincher. I want to spend all my money. This right here is the Werewolf by Night, the one in 50 ratio variant. I got this for, I think for like 18 bucks or something online. I would rather spend the $18 on a book like this than two comic capsules because I'm just cheap like that because I want books, I don't want protection. And again, that's kind of a weird thing to say because you know what, I should be protecting books like this because this might not be a CGC 9.8, but also this is just gonna go into a box and I'm just gonna store it for a long term with a cover on top and it's gonna be protected because no one's going in the boxes because my kids know you touch daddy's stuff, you're gonna get punished. But that is really it. Otherwise, I love everything about this product. It's solid, it fits your books really well, it displays really well. I just, you know, the price to me is too much. I would rather spend the money on a top loader because again, I'm spending all my money, all my money on the books, on my ratio books, on my monthly books, on giveaways, on everything, but I guess protection for my books. Even though I am saving up a bunch of money, around like $500 to do a large CGC submission. But again, you know what? That's because I want them truly, truly encapsulated, locked in place, even though I know there's that whole CGC scandal. But to me, there's nothing beats this right here. This right here in your CBCS slabs are just the way to go when you really want to display your books. There's this nice label on top. It's really, really hardcore plastics. But you know what? If you're on a budget and you want to display your comics, I can see this being a good way to go, especially over the ones that are $19.99 or $25. I think this is super solid way to go because you can get more bang for your buck. You can get more things up on the wall. My biggest beef with this is the label area up here because I want something I want something like this. I want a nice chunky label. And just think if they got a designer to come in, they can actually have pre-done designs where you can just add in your own information and then print it out and just slide it in how cool would that be i think that would be absolutely awesome but guys let me go ahead and wrap this up because at this point i feel like i'm rambling a little bit the comic capsule is a great great product it's super solid it's well made you can tell the guys over at the board boys put a lot of time and effort especially if you go over to their instagram and you can see a lot of the testing that they did they did a lot of drop testing they really put their heart and soul they love comics and i absolutely love seeing people who are really truly passionate about this hobby because guys you know this is my jam this is my thing i love comic books so when they reached out to me and wanted to check out this new product i was totally stoked and i'm so glad that i now have two of these maybe i'll give one away to you guys maybe but this is just really really cool i love this product just to me since I'm a penny pincher, I'm probably gonna stick with top loaders and then also paying the extra money to get my books officially CGC slapped. All right guys, that is my review of the Comet Capsule. Such a great product coming from a bunch of true comic book nerds. I will have links down in the description below if you guys are interested in picking up some Comet Capsule. I will also have their social medias linked down in the description below if you wanna check them out. And guys, if you have any questions, guys hit me up down in the comments and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.